Um, who wants to talk about Shakespeare? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> I do! It's Gwendolyn Christie is about to open in one of my favourite Shakespeare plays, A Midsummer Night's Dream. Yes! yes. <laughs> so exciting. Um, it's at the Bridge Theatre from the 3rd of June to the 31st of August. What can you tell me about this production of A Midsummer Night's Dream? Well, interestingly, um, the projects that I tend to be involved with come with a, a, a heavy cloak of secrecy. Yes. So you would assume, this being Shakespeare, that I would be able to tell you everything about the production. But do not be disappointed. Yet again, I cannot tell you no. anything about no. the production. No. And I can't because there are some surprises involved. <laughs> I can tell you I'm giving my Titania. OK. <laughs> right. And I can tell you I'm doing some other things. OK. And I can tell you that it is immersive. Immersive? You will be immersed, Jack, when you come to see it, and all of you come to see it, and all of you come to see it, you will all be immersed. Is it audience participation? If you're <laughs> lucky. <laughs> Dane Williams, uh, you've um, been in A Midsummer Night's Dream. I was, I've seen I was in, in it, yes, with Sheridan Night's Smith a few years ago in the West End. It's a really fun play to be part of. <laughs> <laughs> there I am. I was... Um, so I played Bottom, and Bottom gets transformed into an ass during the play, which is why I look like that. It's a great play to be part of, and also it's a good... I think it's a great one. It's a lot of people's first Shakespeare, isn't it? Because you can take kids along to see yeah. Midsummer Night's Dream. And it's very much about joy, too. There's lots of surprises in our production, but more overly, you know, uh, in, a, in a world full of darkness, it's a, it's a m bit of much-needed joy. It's twinkling. Yeah, it's, and no one, no one dies in it, do they? Well, we don't know. <laughs> in this one, maybe. At the end, they all get murdered by White Walkers. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me, when you're doing a play like that, obviously there's a live audience and that brings its challenges. Um, have you had experiences? I have had some experiences, yeah. Jack, yeah. I was doing a, a production in the West End uh, some years ago, and it was very um, <laughs> unusual sort of production in that the audience, it was a very different kind of audience. People would come in with takeaway food and eat takeaway food there. Uh, people, hen parties would come with blow-up dolls, buying seats for blow-up dolls. <laughs> and, uh, and also, lots of people seemed to be sort of fainting and carried out on gurneys. But the most spectacular <laughs> of all of these the things... Oh, where was the show? The most spectacular of all of these things is that one night, some people, two people in the balcony, vomited <gasps> onto the people in the circle. No. And then four to six people vomited no. onto people in the stalls, <laughs> like some sort of horrendous vomit fountain. And then people were vomiting in the stalls. <laughs> it was an amazing night out at the theatre, and get your tickets now for the Bridge Theatre Midsummer Night. Yes. Are you sure? What was the show? I'm not telling the judges. Are you sure you want to do an immersive play? I can't wait. <laughs> You're in and amongst <laughs> them. <laughs> they could vomit on you at any moment. I'm really up for new experiences. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>